The oldest rivalry in football is always a special occasion. But for those with tickets, England versus Scotland at Wembley after months of lockdown was a highlight of a tournament being played at 10 venues across the continent. And this parochial contest is also a relatively straightforward match at which to manage Covid concerns. But things could be very different come the climax of the tournament. Organisers UEFA want the government to waive Covid travel restrictions to allow at least 15,000 visiting fans and 2,500 VIPs in 24-hour travel bubbles to come to each of the semi-finals and final here at Wembley. Now, we understand a deal may be possible on the VIPs, but admitting so many European visitors when the British public are still locked down is a major challenge. We'll do what we have to do to, uh, to keep the country safe from, from COVID. That's obviously going to be our priority. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be talking to, to UEFA about what they, uh, what they want and, and see if we can make some, some sensible accommodations. Uh, but the priority obviously has to be, has to be public health. Current travel restrictions mean arrivals from all but a handful of countries, none of them in the tournament, have to self-isolate. Waving the rules for football could be hard to justify. I think the risks are low because we have, um, first of all, protect the, protected the vulnerable, and that's the main thing that we need to be worried about. I think the real challenge is how to justify this in the face of restrictions being in place for the rest of the population. Rio, Rio, Bulgaria. UEFA could move the games to Hungary if no agreement is reached. The stadium in Budapest has been full for its matches. How are you feeling? Confident? Well, I think you've got a great chance. And Boris Johnson's ambition to bring the World Cup to England in 2030, making up for the failure of previous bids, is also a factor. These games are a valuable lobbying opportunity. It's a huge privilege for uh, Wembley Stadium to be hosting the Euro 2020 final. And the big advantage for that is it allows the government to show itself as a trusted host of major sports events. This might all be less of a headache if at least one of the home nations and its fans reaches the final. We can but hope. Paul Kelso, Sky News at Wembley.